I'm gonna run like a few queries and I'm gonna use this following scenario. First, I'm gonna run some queries in a single system. I'm using Redshift for that. And so you'll see how I run some queries that they're all with data in Redshift, but I will use uh, the original tables and I will compare that with the execution with a summary. So you see that acceleration on a single source. Let's start with that scenario one. So let me go back to my screen share here and uh, let me start with um, a query here. Let me get the query here on the shell. So this is uh, very similar to the queries I was using in the in the diagrams. You see here I'm using the that store sales that has like the the sales uh, transactions, and I'm joining that with uh, the day dimension, the store dimension, and I'm doing a summary by store name and year. So very classic analytical metric when calculating the total sales uh, by store and year. Uh, pay attention to that little guy there. I'm just using this to sort of disable for this execution, the query acceleration. So the execution I wanna run now, this is going straight to Redshift. It's a query, these tables are pretty large. They are like, a, the, the, I think there's 200 million, 250 million sales. So this query takes a while. You see the query is running now. They have the spinner down there. So uh, I think in my previous test, this took like 12, 15 seconds. Let's take a, a look at that. So it took 13 seconds. So I have a query that goes, you see there's only one single branch. Oh, sorry. This is going all to Redshift. And you see the query that we push down to Redshift down here. So full push down. The query was run entirely by Redshift and it took around, um, what was the, the action number? 13 seconds to run. This is without query acceleration. I have this query that involves a, met a calculation of a metric with a sales table of 250 million rows, took 13 seconds. I'm going to remove that. So now I have the query as it will be coming from a reporting tool, for example, from Tableau or Power BI. And I'm gonna uh, just click on execute. And just the query came almost immediately. Uh, what's the execution time? It's 400 milliseconds. But this query is not cache. I didn't know exactly what this query was going to, to do. I couldn't predict that beforehand. And uh, therefore I couldn't pre-calculate this. What is happening here, if I go to the details here of the execution, it's, well, you can see actually here, that, let me highlight this here. It's telling me that it's applying a, the idea of summary rewrite, that's query acceleration. And if I go here to the um, details of the query that we push down, pay attention to that query there in the bottom right. You can see that Redshift is still doing a join between three tables. It's going to the store table, it's going to the time dimension, but it's not going to the sales table. It's going to the summary total by store date. That's my summary. All of that happens automatically. The node parses that query, checks the metadata that is necessary for, for that execution, compares that with the existing summaries that are in the system, and in this case, automatically decides to use a summary instead of going to the original table. The result, I have flexibility to run queries like this, and I get response times that are sub-second in response. Just to show you a quick example, uh, what happens if I have another query that is totally different? Let me remove this and add this query here. In this case, I'm getting details for a store uh, in Riverside and I want to calculate details for that store in Riverside. Uh, very different from the query I had earlier, but if I run this query, takes a few seconds and brings the results back. This is the total uh, sales for that store. Seems that it's doing pretty well. It's been selling uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> so uh, you can see again, there is a full execution into Redshift and well, it's also being accelerated. If I go here, you see the summary right. That's the optimization that does the acceleration. 
And uh, here you can see again how it joins multiple tables, pushes down those filters, etc. But it's using also that summary total by store date, which is the summary instead of going to the store sales table that was the original one. You saw this query took like a couple of seconds. If I do like I did before, if I add this uh, context here to disable the, the optimization, you'll see how the query actually takes much longer in normal circumstances. It will take like, I think, 10, 12 seconds. So just with this, I just want to highlight how the same summary can be used to accelerate multiple different queries in a completely transparent fashion for the end user. The end user doesn't even know, this context is just for the, for the test, doesn't even know that the query is going to be accelerated or not. It's completely transparent. The results just come faster. Thank you.